Hi friends, today we will talk about the classification of anti-cancer drugs. The anti-cancer drugs either act directly on the cancer cells or they affect the internal hormonal levels in hormone dependent tumors. Let us first go through the first category that is the cytotoxic drugs. We will first go through the various categories and then the individual drugs under each category. So, in cytotoxic drugs, we have seven main categories. These are alkylating agents, antibiotics, antimetabolites, campothecin analogs, miscellaneous drugs, taxanes, and the vinca alkaloids. To remember them, just imagine that the three A's keep running after a single C all their life. They don't get it. They miss it. And what happens in the end? They become MTV clowns. The first A stands for alkylating agents. The second A stands for antibiotics. The third A stands for antimetabolites. C stands for campothecin analogs. M stands for miscellaneous drugs. T stands for taxanes. And V stands for vinca alkaloids. Let us now start populating the individual drugs under each category. So, first we will populate the drugs under antibiotics. We will observe that all the drugs in this group ends with the letters mycin, M-Y-C-I-N or bicin, B-I-C-I-N. So, we have dactinomycin, doxorubicin, donorubicin, bleomycin, mitomycin C and metoxantron. Metoxantron is an exception that it does not end with mycin or bicin. Next, we fill up the antimetabolites. We have three categories in this group. The folate antagonist, the purine antagonist and the pyrimidine antagonist. We observe that most of the antimetabolites ends with the letter 8, A-T-E or purine or B-I-N-E bind. In folate antagonist, we have a drug called methotrexate. Folate and methotrexate sound similar, easy to remember. In purine antagonist, we have 6-mercaptopurine, fludarabine and cladribine. Purine and 6-mercaptopurine sound similar, easy to remember. In pyrimidine antagonist, we have 5-fluorouracil, citarabine, capacitabine, gemcitabine. So, we see that the drugs ending with B, I, N, E, bean all fall in this group. Next, we discuss the C, that is campothecin analogs. We have two members here, topotecan and irenotecan. Thysin and tecan sound similar, easy to remember. Next, we will talk of two groups together, the taxanes and the vinca alkaloids. Both of these drugs have a similar mechanism of action, that is, both are microtubule inhibitors. In taxanes, we have paclitaxel and docetaxel. Again, taxanes and taxel sound similar, easy to remember. In vinca alkaloids, we have vincristine, vinblastine and vinorelbine. All the drugs starts with the letters V-I-N and the class of drugs also starts with V-I-N, vinca alkaloids. Easy to remember. Next, we will talk of the first and the largest group that is alkylating agents. In this group, we have meclorethamine, cyclophosphamide, iphosphamide, chlorambucil, mephalan, busulfan, carmustin, lomustin, decarbazine, timozolamide, cisplatin, oxaliplatin, and carboplatin. The platinum analogs that is cisplatin, oxaliplatin, and carboplatin are sometimes put into the miscellaneous group. But they have many pharmacological properties similar to alkylating agents. So I have classified them under alkylating agents. Now we observe that most of the drugs starting with the letter C are alkylating agents such as cyclophosphamide, chlorambucil, carmustine, cisplatin and carboplatin. 
Last, we have the miscellaneous group. In this group, we have procarbazine, the epipodophyllotoxin that is etoposide, the hydroxyurea, the enzyme L-asparaginase, tyrosine kinase inhibitors such as imatinib, nilotinib and sorafenib etc. The proteasome inhibitors such as bortezomib. We will now look at the drugs affecting the hormonal milieu. Many cancers are either hormone responsive or hormone dependent. In the first case that is hormone responsive, the tumor regresses by hormone therapy and in the second case that is hormone dependent, the tumor regresses by removal of the hormone support. So in this book, we have glucocorticoids, estrogens, progesterins, CERM or selective estrogen receptor modulators such as tamoxifen, toramifen, the CERMs I have already talked about in one of my previous videos. Then we have the SERDs or selective estrogen receptor down regulators such as fulvistrand, aromatase inhibitors such as letrozole, anestrozole, eximestanes, the antiandrogens such as flutamide, bicalutamide, the 5-alpha reductase inhibitors such as finasteride, dutasteride and GnRH analogs such as nepheraline and triptoraline. Thanks for watching. If you find the information in this video beneficial, do share and please subscribe if you have not done till now. Thank you.